This is the Svalbard Global Seed Vault. It is a secure seed bank on the Norwegian island of Spitsbergen, in the remote Arctic Svalbard archipelago. The vault preserves a wide variety of duplicate samples or spare copies of plant seeds from gene banks around the world. The facility is an insurance against the loss of seeds in other gene banks in the event of a large-scale regional or global crisis. The Times of India spoke to Nordgen Seed Vault Coordinator Asmund Asdal to take us through the Seed Vault's mission. So the Svalbard Global Seed Vault is uh, actually the only seed vault in the world. Uh, we do not act as a, a regular gene bank. It's quite simple seed storage and we offer space inside uh, the mountain in uh, Spitsbergen. So far, 87 gene banks uh, have sent seeds already. There are today uh, around 1.07 million samples already deposited in the vault uh, from uh, around 5,000 different uh, species. The seeds that are uh, uh, conserved inside the seed vault, they are produced and packed by the gene banks. They dry the seeds, they pack them into uh, watertight, airtight, aluminium uh, seed pouches. They seal them and they send them to uh, Svalbard. And in the seed vault, uh, there is minus 18 degrees. Uh, so the seeds are well frozen and this is uh, the same conditions as we have find in most gene banks. They also dry the seeds and they freeze them at minus 18. Uh, we put the boxes as they come uh, on the shelves inside the seed vault and there they will stay for 10 years, 100 years until uh, anyone needs them, uh, the gene bank needs them or if the seeds has to be replaced. Of course, the seeds cannot, cannot uh, uh, stay alive for uh, thousands of years, so at some stage, seeds has to be replaced also. In total, uh, there is space for 4.5 million seed samples inside the seed vault. Gene banks are uh, huge and international centers, uh, and we have one of these centers in India, actually. It's uh, Ikrisat in, uh, in Panajvi, uh, just outside Hyderabad. Uh, they are one of these uh, four or five large uh, gene banks that have uh, deposited uh, seeds in the seed vault. They have sorghum, they have uh, uh, several kinds of millets, they have uh, groundnuts. There is also a national gene bank uh, in India, NBPGR, uh, located in Delhi. They have uh, so far <laughs> deposited a couple of hundreds of seed samples uh, uh, in the seed vault, but we are in contact with them and uh, we hope that they will deposit more samples in, in the seed vault in the, in the near future. Many gene banks have already lost seeds due to war and conflicts, due to natural disasters, due to lack of resources for maintaining the collections and so on. Uh, but so far only one gene bank has requested uh, seeds to be taken out of the seed vault and returned to the gene bank. It's called ICARDA. Formerly ICARDA had their gene bank in Aleppo in Syria. Uh, they deposited, luckily and very fortunate, copies of the, the seeds in uh, the seed vault from 2008 until 2014. So we sent their seeds back to Lebanon and Morocco. They established new gene banks there and uh, uh, they are already able to distribute seeds to different uh, users, to breeders, to research. And they have also already sent back around 80,000 samples uh, back to, to Svalbard again to be redeposited uh, there. We open the seed vault three times a year uh, for regular 
seed deposit. And for these three uh, occasions, we invite gene banks to pack and send seeds. And actually, there are uh, 3,700 samples from ICRISAT uh, uh, to be put in now in February. So uh, ICRISAT in India is one of the gene banks that has sent seeds for this occasion. Currently holding more than 1 million seed samples, the Global Seed Vault already boasts of the most diverse collection of food crop seeds in the world. Stored in 3-ply foil packages at minus 18 degrees Celsius, further ensures longevity of the stored seeds. In the unlikely event of a regional or global disaster, the Svalbard Global Seed Vault is a necessary safety net that is helping countries preserve native and genetically modified strains for a worst-case scenario. A TOI Online Report